All right, today's quick uh, little project. Uh, we're building a splitter. If you don't look like this, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> We do a lot of these on race cars. We use uh, birch wood, uh, typically half inch birch, depending on the size of the splitter and the mounting system. Uh, in this case, we're gonna be building a GLDC uh, splitter with a three inch rule. So three inch max splitter length and uh, using a half inch birch. Kind of cheating here. I've, I've already made a template. I've already copied the bumper contour, measured three inches out. And I've kind of have my own template that I just keep around just for quickly cutting these things out because splitters are kind of a disposable thing. Uh, you go off track, you <laughs> actually happens more often when loading a car on a trailer. Anyways, I keep a template around that uh, we use just to trace and cut our splitter out. I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. All right, this is a, was a four by eight sheet. This is what's left after cutting one out. I've got uh, a bumper there, brand new AP2 bumper. AP2 and one bumpers have a little slight different contoured shape to them. So uh, we have a template for each. And this is my extra template that I made. I use this just for tracing out and cutting out new splitters every time. So let's, uh, let's get that traced out and cut it out. round these edges off, kind of give it a little contour. That'll help a little bit with the airflow, help break it up and keep it nicely attached to the bottom of the splitter. If I were a woodworking place, I'd have a router that I could make that nice contour with. I don't have that. I have, uh, I have flapper wheels. That's what I'm gonna use. Kind of what we're going for. Got a little ways to go yet, but trying to make a nice little rounded edge there. All right. If you don't look like this, you're doing it wrong. Not the normal dirty job, but uh, it is a bit messy. So we got this one all done. Got the edges kind of nicely sanded down. Um, that'll help keep the air attached. Plus, it uh, you don't get slivers every time you touch the splitter. Kind of like woodworking. This is kind of refreshing. But yeah, all right. Got a nice splitter and uh, let's make our air dam, um, whatever, um, you'll see. So this is just one inch aluminum L bracket, but I cut these slits so I can then conform it to the contour of the bumper. And that will give me a nice good backing plate to mount my air dam. Okay, got all these cut, got it kind of bent close to the contour. Got a line drawn, this is exactly three inches from the leading edge. So I'll line up this with that and secure that down. I like to use uh, a bit of adhesive glue underneath the uh, L bracket and then use a couple um, really short screws uh, to go through the wood from the top down. That will keep the bottom side nice and flat. There'll be nothing exposed. All right, so we're not quite done yet, but as you can see, we got our splitter done and we got our air dam backing plate securely mounted. So the next step is uh, we need a bigger uh, air dam. We're probably gonna be close to about three, maybe even four inches. We set them about three inches level uh, to the ground with maybe a slight angle of attack, a couple degrees, maybe two or three degrees angle of attack. Anyways, I end up uh, cutting that strip, the three inch air, uh, plastic strip. I'll get that secured and then the rest is kind of done on the car and I've got to wait for a lift to open up. So for plastic, uh, I like to use just black plastic. I think Summit and Jags and all of your race speed shops will sell this stuff. This is uh, how we get it and um, what we do is actually cut, <laughs> cut it just like this. Uh, we'll cut uh, a three inch strip we can just do that right on the bandsaw and then the whole thing is cut for us. So we don't have to, you know, lay it all out and try to cut it.
The next step I like to do is quickly mark out every three inches. I don't know if you can kind of see it, use a dark marker, but the reason I do that, it's kind of nice to have uh, all the anchors that go into this just to be all the same. It's kind of goofy when they're all, you know, just randomly thrown in and, and nothing looks <laughs> symmetrical or anything. So a little bit of OCD maybe, but um, yeah, I just mark it quick. Now that they're all marked, I'm gonna anchor them to the front here. Uh, I'm just using a 3 16 drill bit, some 3 16 uh, black rivets and uh, a fancy rivet gun. Now that we got the air dam all on, um, mounting it on the car. Probably the most trickiest part of making a splitter is finding really good secure mounts. Obviously every car is gonna be a little different. This is an S2000. We've done many of these splitters before on S2000s and have found kind of a preferred method for mounting. I like to use two by fours, uh, set the splitter level. The car is on a level surface. Car's already been corner weighted, ride height set, all that stuff. So I set the splitter on the two by fours to get a nice level ride height. And then I kind of just push that all up, but get the splitter kind of where I need it to be. Everything looks like it lines up well. And uh, now I'll start marking my mounts. Uh, so on the S2000, we'll use this lower radiator support. There's little holes in here. We'll go down um, and, and drill a hole. I'll mark there, drill a little hole, mount it there. And then sometimes we'll use just some long threaded rods. I did realize that I am not going to use our normal mounting system. So our normal mounting system, maybe you can't see it, but there's rods coming up off the front crash bar that just drop down to the splitter. And then we would use, back here, we would use rear radiator um, support as our mount. Here, you can kind of see the rod there. That gives it some adjustability. But uh, we've got some quick uh, mounting brackets that we're gonna use and uh, that's pretty much going to be the only thing that's going to hold this splitter on. I forgot. Um, Lena sent some of these quick splitter um, mounts. Uh, we can try using them. I typically don't like some of these quick mount systems uh, because quick mount also means it could also become quickly unmounted. If, if I know there can be a problem that can be avoided, whether it be human or a part failure, I'd like to try to eliminate that variable and, and just do something a little more tried and true. But we'll, we're gonna try making it work. Worst case, if, it, if, I, if I don't like the quick mount thing, I'll, I'll just weld that thing together. <laughs> I'll, I'll make it uh, so it won't fail, but we're gonna try making them work. So I haven't moved the splitter. I whipped up these uh, aluminum mounts that will have, uh, give me a little bit of adjustment room here for height. And I should be able to just simply mark my holes, drill the holes. And then I've got these little elevator bolts that will come in from the bottom, keeping the floor of the splitter flat. I think it will work. <laughs> I think I say that a lot. I will also seal up some of this bottom. Ah! Oh, I'll uh, seal up this bottom so air can't go underneath. It's all forced through. I also might um, try to button up some of these sides so air can't really spill over. Okay, that's it. Mount securely attached, and they should just slide right in. We'll see here. Not the easiest, but it works. Plenty strong. So the last bit is uh, filling this area. So this is typically what I do, a little L bracket there. And then I use uh, just this simple, it's like a one millimil thick carbon fiber sheets. So you can get this stuff on like Amazon by like a 24 by 24 sheet. It's actually not that expensive, but I get this, cut it out to about the rough shape. And the trick with this stuff is heating it up slowly and it'll actually become very pliable. You can bend this and once it um, cools down, it'll hold the shape really nicely. So let's get those mounted.
Okay, we got the splitter all done. I uh, got my spats all made, secured. This thing turned out pretty good. It's a little um, a little flimsy um, with the, those quick mounts, but it's not really gonna go anywhere. So, I mean, it's pretty solid. I'm making it all dirty, but uh, that should work. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash reply. Don't forget to subscribe.